Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of editing your photos. In this series, you sent me your clicks and I edit them using my own style. This doesn't mean that they're gonna be better than the original, better than your own edits, but this is just how I like them. Just wanna let you know that for now, the submissions are closed, but usually when I open them, I post stories on my Instagram. All right, without further ado, let's jump right in into Lightroom. All right, the first photo is from Hugo Mes Photos. I hope I pronounce it well and there is a problem in this photo actually there are two problems the first one is that I don't like the bottom part so to solve this one we're just gonna try to crop it and then place the subject a little bit towards the left of the photo to leave more space towards the right following the rule of lead room lead space and then the other problem is that there are some very very bright areas and some very dark areas and to solve this we're gonna decrease the highlights and increase the shadows but to be honest I think I'm gonna use my preset London eye variant because it really creates that difference between the highlights and the shadows, as you can see from here. Then the next thing that I wanna do is actually creating a filter to decrease the exposure in the bottom part of the image to, to create some more contrast. And then the next thing would be also to play around with the greens. And this is about really personal preference. You can have those greens more towards the yellow, the saturate them to have more dramatic look and having the subject standing out more, or you can simply leave these greens towards the green or normal to have more balanced look, let's say. I'm probably gonna leave it like this. Then I'm going to use the tone curve and create an S in all the four curves. This is the luminosity, and then we have it in the red, so we're gonna drop the shadows and create the highlights here. Then we have it in the green as well. And in the blue, there you go. That's it, we got the before and after. This is actually very intense, so eventually we can decrease the clarity. There you go, and then we wanna zoom in in the photo and see if you can make the skin a little bit more softer. So we wanna decrease the sharpening because the preset was a little bit too much in this case, and then we're gonna increase the noise reduction, the luminance, and the color. And I think I'm happy with the result. We got the before and after, and then I wanna open it in Photoshop because this image is perfect for an extra sun for an overlay that is coming from the right. So I'm gonna go in my overlays pack and I'm gonna pick the light number four, place it on the image, simply change it, the blending mode into screen and then place it here on the right. Then I'm gonna decrease quite a lot the dimension and I think that's pretty much it. Then there is one more problem in this photo and it seems that here there is a dirty lens or there is some dust and some particles around the photo. So we have two options. Either we clean the whole image manually, so we just use the spot healing, and then we simply go around the whole photo and try to remove all these particles, or another option, and I'm gonna go for that one, I'm actually gonna increase these particles by using some other overlays. So for example, we can pick this one, and then we're gonna place it in the overall image. There you go, increase the dimension, and even in this case, I'm just gonna change the black mode into screen eventually we can actually increase the blur so we go in Gaussian blur and then play around a bit with the radius and I think three pixels look fine there you go all right and that's pretty much it this is the before and after the next photo is from Joshua underscore NYH <laughs> And I really like this photo, but even in this case, there's a problem because the sky is blown out. It was probably a cloudy day. And in this case, it's very difficult to actually catch details in the shadows and also in the highlights. So you'd need actually two photos and then merge them with HDR. But let's do our best in this case. First of all, I wanna just fix the rotation of the image and I wanna center these three, which actually looks Singapore. Let me know if this is Singapore or not, but I do believe it's Singapore. And then I wanna also increase a lot the shadows right here to make these greens pop up. Then we can play around with the greens and their saturation and try to play around with the contrast as well. Maybe the clarity in this case, we can increase it, but I wanna decrease the texture and increase also the vibrance. Then I wanna go in the masking option and select the sky and see if we can operate any magic in here. Oh, let's try to bring down the exposure and increase the DS and see if we can bring back any any detail and it looks quite okay to be honest I like this blue that is coming out from this place because I can see already that a Sun coming from this side it will be good let's keep going a bit with the basic adjustments let's try to create an S curve right here as well so we go a bit down in the shadows then we do another point in the highlights we create it right there and then we bring this point and we drag it up just to make the black a little bit more gray 
there you go. We got the before and after for now. I'm really enjoying this edit. And then also go and target the purples or the magenta of this color of these nice flowers right here and see if we can bump up the saturation a bit and maybe play around with the colors. There you go. And that's it. I'm happy. This is before, this is the after. Now let's open it in Photoshop and try to add that sun on the left. So again, in the overlays, I'm gonna go in light and rays. And then maybe this time we can try to pick a uh, light number three. We put it quite back on the side, probably like so. Then we change the blending mode into screen as always and see if we have any different from the side. I actually wanna make it even bigger. There you go. And then we can also duplicate this layer by clicking Common J on Mac or Control J on Windows. And that's it. Now I just wanna create a mask and then delay a bit this part because it wouldn't be realistic. So we're gonna use a black brush and then paint yeah just like so and this is more realistic and i think that's pretty much it to be honest we got the before and after thank you very much joshua for sending it over i actually love this then we have this photo from lens.dxb and i really like these flowers so let's try to put them in the center first of all there you go and then let's see if we can apply any of the presets i think indonesia works pretty well I just wanna center again these because they're not well centered right now. There you go. Now I wanna go and have a look at the noise reduction because this is probably a very low resolution image. So let's see what happens when we increase it. Oh, that looks much better already. And increasing the color as well. There you go. We've got a much smoother image before and after. Next thing, I wanna also play a little bit with these oranges. So let's see what we can do. Probably gonna leave it right there and then increase the saturation and also the saturation of the reds because I want those roses to pop up a lot. Then what I wanna do, I wanna create a rigid filter on this side and simulate a sun coming from that side while also creating another ridge of filter on the other side and this time contrasting the temperature with more bluish. There you go. Now I'm ready to open the image in Photoshop for one last touch. Here first of all I want to remove this imperfection of the image. There you go. And also this one right here that I don't really like. Boom, it's gone. And then what I wanna do here in Photoshop is actually adding a shadow to create another layer as a reflection of a window probably or, or a plant just behind these roses. To be honest here, anything would look great, but let's try to use the shadow number 22 and we are gonna rotate the image like so. There you go. Then I want to increase the dimension so that we can cover the overall image like so. And look at the difference. We got the before and after. I love this. If you wanna go even further, then we can try to add another flower behind, maybe using this one, simulating that it was a plant. We rotate it on the other side. There you go. And I think I'm pretty happy with this. I wanna just decrease the dimension. There you go. We create a mask because we need to fix this part right here. Just delete it so we don't have a proper line here. Yeah, that's it. And eventually, if you want, you can also increase the blur and play around with the radius. Maybe we want to leave it at like 33 pixels. And I think that looks pretty good. But you know what? I think I'm going to like it. I'm going to leave it like this without this extra plant on the top right side. Super pleased on how these turn out. This is the before and this is the after. And this was my last edit. If you want to check out my presets and overlays, I'll leave the link down below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you want to check previous episodes, I'll leave a playlist just right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next one. Ciao. Oh.